everyone, this is Rich from Mountain Slayer to Garage. This is a 2022 model year for the snowmobiles. We're at the Edge Power Sports in Salt Lake and an Articat dealer. We're looking at the 2022 Articats. We've got the hardcore over there, the new green one. Thing about these new Articats for 2022 that makes kind of sets them apart from the other the older models is they have this new primary clutch that I have right here that comes on the 2022s that replaces this clutch, which is the old clutch that's come on the other, the 19 to 21s. And I've kind of really been excited to get a hold of this new clutch, just to kind of look at it, take it apart, weigh it, just kind of see what it's all about compared to the old one. So the first thing I want to do is, when I pulled this off, I pulled both these off. Some of the early build 22s got the old style clutch. And if you look at the belts, the belts are the same part number. It's the 0627 one 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 so if you want to put this clutch on an older model you'll you don't have to get a new drive belt that's one thing that will save you a little money if you buy the new clutches you don't have to get a new drive belt the next thing that's a little bit different on these they pretty much use the same clutch bolt but you can see the spacer on the old clutch is much smaller than the spacer that comes out of the new clutch but the bolts the same just the spacer is different so if you're going to get a new clutch you're going to need the spacer but you can use your old boat bolt uh, the next thing I wanted to do is since this looks smaller, I wanted to weigh it just to kind of see what the difference is between the in weight between the new clutch and the old clutch. And as you can see, both clutches still have this metal balancing gear, I guess if that you call this this uh, steel ring that goes around the outside uh, on both clutches. Some people take those off to try and save a little weight, but they both still come with that. They both still have the roller bearing here in the middle that keeps you having to adjust your belt tension. But let's let's weigh the old clutch first. And we're in pounds here. I mean, we're gonna weigh the old clutch, 12.8 pounds. And then we'll put the new clutch on the scale right after, see, so 12 pounds. So a little bit less, not a ton of less weight. I mean, you think it would maybe be a little bit more because it looks like there's less mass there. So a little bit less rotating mass, not quite a full pound. And so let's pull the cover off this new clutch and we'll kind of see what the spring and the weights and stuff look like. Okay, now we've pulled the clutch cover off this new clutch, got the spring out. The spring that comes in this is an 85 225. Spring diameters are the same on both. If we measure this one, this is out, out of the new clutch. It's about 55 millimeters. And the spring out of the old clutch is all exactly the same, 55.4, 55.5 millimeters. So I'm not gonna say that the old springs will work, but they might, but I just they need to measure the compressed and the relaxed uh, measurements on the spring before we really kind of get an idea. But this clutch cover, and this clutch cover almost weighs nothing compared to, you can see how much smaller it is than the old clutch cover. This clutch cover just feels like it weighs a couple ounces. The bolts out of the cover bolts, and this is a bolt out of the old style. This is a bolt out of the new style. You can see they're just a little bit shorter, fine threads versus coarse threads. Now, the interesting thing on this is the clutch weights are a lot different than the old clutch weight. The old clutch weight, you have this bolt with the Allen head on one side and then this other bolt on the other side that goes through there. It's really kind of cumbersome getting this in and out, but what they did here, it's kind of real similar to the P-Drive clutch on the new ski -Doo clutch. So I'll just show you how this comes out. There's a Allen head on this side and a 30 Torx bit on this side. You just unscrew the 30 Torx. That's out and then just pushes through the shaft right here. So the shaft comes out real similar to the P-Drive clutch. Then they have these other little spacers in here like the old spacers, but as you can see they're just a bit different shapes than the old spacer. Here's the old spacer next to it. So a little bit different, but it still has those. And then we have this little weight that comes with a 61 gram weight, which is much smaller than Articat was using in their other clutches. Like here's the 70 gram weight that came in this style clutch. And as you can see a lot less mass to the new weight that comes in the new clutch. So, cause these are both clutches out of a, uh, SeaTech 800 motor. So, kind of a nice, it's got the same bearing here in the center. The bushing that's in this is similar, but if we look, the bushing is bigger diameter than the old one. This, this, this is the bolt that goes to the old one. 
and it's that bushing it's much bigger in diameter. If we measure that, the old one is six point almost six point three millimeters. The new one measures eight millimeters. So about a millimeter and a half bigger in diameter on the new bolt versus the old one. The same roller that we have on the other clutch. Uh, they're both essentially the same diameter. So you'll have the same upshift characteristics, the same belt sheath angle, um, or obviously because we're using the same belt on both. And then the rollers, since I believe this new clutch is rebuildable, it's got this big, really nice wide roller, kind of like the old clutch had a nice roller. But this roller comes out easier because it's got a torx or an Allen bit on that side, and then it's got a pin that comes out on this side. Kind of, it looks like it's the same pin that you use down here is the same pin that holds the roller in. So that might make it a lot easier to rebuild. So, I mean, it's fairly stiff just out of the box here. It's probably going to take a little bit of time to wear that in so it moves really smoothly as your clutch sh shifts in and out. But I think from what it looks like, Artist Cat's done a really nice job designing this clutch. And I can hardly wait to get it out on the snow. All right, there's a couple other things I wanted to show you on this clutch. Some is the pricing. If you look online at uh, the Microfish for this new clutch, you can buy a lot of the parts for it, which you couldn't on the old clutch. You have to buy this as a complete unit if you need a roller or a spider or anything. This one, there's quite a few, as of right now, quite a few parts available, the smaller parts. You can't buy the sheaths or the spider, but you can buy all the smaller parts. You can buy the pins. Uh, you can buy the rollers that go under here, the, the screw that goes in here, the screw that goes in there. You can buy the shims that go between the rollers and the spider. The other thing that's great about this clutch, if you've ever taken one of the old styles apart, you have to unscrew this bolt here. It's got a ton of green Loctite on it. Then you got to unscrew the spider. You got to have special tools for that. It's really kind of a pain in the rear. The new one, instead of having to do all that, it has these six millimeter Allen bolts that hold the spider onto the movable sheath of the clutch. And if you undo those, you can pull the spider off to get to the spider to service the spider. A lot nicer way to do it. Um, than having to have the special tools to unscrew the spider on this and trying to get the spider tight enough that it's not going to spin when you put it back on. The other thing we talked about is these pins are removable. It's the exact same pin for the clutch weight as it is on the roller. So you can, if you need to replace a roller, you can buy the rollers from Articat, the roller right here. You can buy the pins. You can buy these weights. Now, the new clutch spring is almost $70, which I don't know why it's so much more expensive. But the other crazy thing is the old clutch weights were more like $30 a piece. This new clutch weight, if you go on catcountry.com and look on their microfish, it's $6.95 for a clutch weight, which is ridiculously cheap. So I don't know. The pricing is kind of nice if you need parts. I hope all the little clutch weights like this, if you need a bunch of different ones, if you're going to adjust your clutching, I, I don't know how many different sizes they have, but the clutch weights are relatively cheap. Now I did was able to use this little T, get in here and measure the installed height of the clutch spring. I can't get in here, like if you compress this all the way, it compresses what it compresses too far to get in here with this and measure the compressed height of the spring, so I can't get that. But if you measure the um, installed height, it's 2.54, which is almost the exact same installed height of the old style Articat springs, which is two inches and nine sixteenths. So it kind of makes me wonder if the old Articat clutch springs will work. The team spring has a 2.7 inch installed height. So it's a little bit installed height, a little bit taller than the old Articat spring. So I don't know how that's gonna shake out. To recap, Articat's been using this old style clutch for a while. It actually works really well. And I really like the ability to not have to adjust your belt tension with the roller bearing on the clutch shaft. That's a huge bonus that no other manufacturer has. Polaris is putting it on the new turbo sled this year. They have a new clutch that's kind of similar to this. It's coming only on their turbo sled. And it also has a non-belt deflection roller bearing like the Articat one does. But their Articat's been the first one for a couple years. Polaris followed suit this year on their new clutch. Um, the other thing I like about this clutch, weighs a little bit less. That's nice. Um, it may or may not, we don't know yet, use the same springs. Obviously, 
You're not going to be able to use the same weights because the weights, the bushing is a different diameter. So you'll probably have to use totally different weights and springs in this one. Um, we'll have to wait and see on what happens with the springs in it. Um, the thing we don't know yet, since very few people have got to use this clutch, we don't know if it's going to work better than this one, work the same. Maybe it's not going to work as good. We don't know yet because we don't really have enough of them out on the snow to really work. I would hope that Articat wouldn't put it out if it's not working at least as good as this one as far as how it shifts and its shift characteristics. Um, the other thing is we don't know how durable it's going to be. You know, this one, the one disappointing thing about this is it's about a 1500 mile clutch. There's been a number of these that um, have cracked. Some people have had their clutch blown apart and it blows out your belly pan and some of your plastics and your clutch cover and maybe even blows apart your secondary clutch when this thing goes, lets loose at seven or 8,000 RPM. I had mine on my Alpha Replace last year, halfway through the year under warranty because I started getting cracks through the towers here on my clutch. So it's something, if you have this old style clutch, I would keep an eye on it for cracks. There's been cracks that have come up here in the face. I've seen cracks in the clutch towers here. So keep a real good eye on that because you really don't want that clutch to come apart where you're out on the mountain. And like I said, it seems like 12, 1500 miles and when those cracks are starting to occur. We have high hopes for this new clutch that it's gonna be a bolt proof clutch. Um, it's gonna work really well and uh, have a lifespan that we can all live with or so it doesn't the clutch outlasting the life of the sled. And another thing is, some of the 2022 sleds, like I said, came with the old style clutch. Some of them are coming with the new one. If you're gonna buy a 2022 sled, I'd highly recommend you look for one that has a new style clutch. I don't know if Articad is gonna retrofit the 2022s that came with the old clutch or not to the new style clutch when the new clutches are available. The dealership here tells me they have some new clutches ordered. Um, they just told me the delivery date on those got moved from October 1st to, to November 1st. So if you want to buy one of these clutches and retrofit it on your 18, 19, or 20 C-Tech 800, you can. Like I said, same clutch bolt, different spacer, use your same belt, and then you're going to need new different weights and springs because most of the time these come without weights and springs in them when you buy a new clutch. And if you have any questions, and uh, ask questions on the YouTube channel, and, uh, or subscribe to the channel, or share with your friends. And be safe out there, and we'll see you on the snow from Mountain Slitter Garage. Mm -hmm.